Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 300. Yes, we have reached the 300 baby. Woo! So, anywho, I don't have anyone here today because, well, it's a 300 episode. I want the glory to myself. Not so fast, Mr. Sanzu. You were just going to ignore us, you will. I locked the doors, I locked the gates. How did you guys get in here? Magic. Oh, God, no. Actually, that's not true. I've been camping out in this place for a week. I smell so terrible. What? What? I'm so confused. Oh, it's you? I thought that was Sapphire. Hi. What? Uh, it's the truth. Yes, ladies and gents, tis eyes, the silver quill. I have invaded this post along with Sapphire Heartsong and Will Eisen. Because, Norman, for your 300th episode, you should not have to host. You should get to kick your feet up and let us ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah. Besides, you jerk, you were going to leave us out of it. I, I don't know. I, I was thinking, like, I just do the show normally with nobody around. It's bad enough you did exploitation. Now shut up and let us host. Yeah, Norman, think of it like you're, it's your birthday. Only we didn't bring you cake or presents. And we're just literally taking over the show. And we'll take away your joy, too. Especially your joy. Oh, okay. So, um, what do we do now? Well, now we talk about the news. Yes, there have been things going on, things within the show and things to look forward to. So, let's talk about our friend Mike Vogel first. Ooh. Yes. Mike Vogel, who may be... I may be behind the upcoming 44-minute Friendship is Magic holiday special. Basically, this show's had a grand tradition of doing some fun holidays. There was a Hearthswarming tale, Hearths Breakers. Basically, every time they tackle Hearthswarming, it's made an impact, eh? Ay. 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 Now, all this comes courtesy of a Twitter feed between uh, Mike Vogel and Gary the Neutral. Hmm. Oh, I forget if... Is he truly neutral? Because I remember Futurama. I see, yes. And neutrals, can you even trust them? If I don't make it, tell my wife hello. <laughs> is it from Futurama? <laughs> yeah, Quill, that is. It's a beige alert. <laughs> oh, I have no comment. Oh, boy. So, yeah. The 44-minute special. When I first read this, I thought this was the Quest for Girls thing. But upon further reading, it's Friendship is Magic. So, hmm, okay. Yeah. Same here, but uh, apparently Gary the Neutrals accused, accused, air quotes, uh, Mike that, oh, you wrote the episode, didn't you? You couldn't resist tackling, you couldn't resist tackling another. <laughs> it's like, ah, why are you so greedy, man? Shaw. I say let him be. He did a good one. And 44 minutes, that's a lot to work with. 44 minutes. I'm curious, what can you do? given how much we've covered of uh, Hearthswarming to this point. Well, there's still plenty of other classical Christmas tales, but they have covered the big ones. You know, they already did the whole uh, A Christmas Carol parody. I guess they could probably do, ooh, maybe it's a Wonderful Life parody. We had that. It was called The Cutie Remark. Oh, you're right. We did. Dang. They have covered pretty much the big ones. Hey, yeah, right? Right? Let's see here. Heartbreakers was written by Nick Confalone. And then A Heartswarming Tale. Just looking at the history. Heartswarming Tale. Isn't that season six? Yes. So let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Mike Vogel did A Heartswarming Tale. So maybe he wants to cast Luna in five more roles. I approve. And also Starlight. And Starlight. I think she got scrooged over in the last one. <laughs> Wait, that's it. I know what kind of Christmas parody they could do. A parody of planes, trains, and automobiles. Did they have those ponies in the background? They did. They did. In Hearthsbreakers. It was quite delightful. Oh, ponies. So, anywho, yeah, Mike Vogel will be... Well, it's rumored to be doing this one. I can't wait. I can't wait. And yeah, I, got, I too can't really figure out what they'll do for 44 minutes. Maybe... Oh, wait. The Krampus invades Equestria. Oh, wow. And they have to save Hearthswarming from the Krampus. Except that it's probably called the Krampus, and no one can fly because they've got wing sprain. Oh, that'll be something. Zephy, have you any thoughts for a possible holiday theme? 
We can't really do Thanksgiving because there's no giant turkey. Uh, uh, excuse me, I'm in the room, thank you. <laughs> well, you're not cooked and you're still alive, so... And that will not go... Unless that you're into change. that. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. I'm sorry, you want me to put the stuffing where? Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, God, no. Hmm. But anywho, yeah. Uh, holidays. Are you guys sure this is going to be out when Christmas or something like that? This could be a random holiday. Like, what's the big one here in, this, in your neck of the woods? President's Day? Christmas! <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid, uh, usually when you say holiday special, it is at the tail end of the year. Usually... Next thing you know, we're doing Pony Kwanzaa. <laughs> uh... Oh, wait, I can't wait for Pony Festivus. <laughs> uh, I, I can't believe you had to skip over Pony Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, let's, let's go to another culture. Another culture? Ooh, how about the Chinese? Ah, Chinese New Year's coming soon, too. Oh, yeah, I need to make a bunch of dumplings for good luck, then. Yay. But it is the year of the dog, so hopefully it's a good dog. Good dog. Yeah. Ooh, can the dog be Golden would... Retriever? Please, please, please. Yay! Golden Retrievers are great. Yay. Uh, well, who but, but next? Though, during but the he... Chinese New Year, one of the best things you can do is, one, not clean out your house. That's bad luck. Two, you can beg for money, but that's only if you're a child and you get a pretty red packet when you do it. Uh-huh. More or less, yes. And you have to make a bunch of dumplings and eat them for good luck. I never heard about that one. But then, I wouldn't you like be- my Chinese teacher? What if you had to beg for an Alka Seltzer? <laughs> oh boy! I don't know. You're well, screwed, we- I guess. Well, the solution first is just not to eat that many dumplings. True. Well, just then- eat dumplings, and you'll have good luck. All righty then. But we also received word of how the Chinese refer to our favorite ponies. Yeah. And so. Now, I'm going to say I am a terrible at pronunciation of Chinese words, and I shall not offend our listeners by committing homicide against the, that fine uh, language. Instead, I shall simply give the literal interpretation as posted online. <laughs> First off, in, in China, Twilight Sparkle is known as Purple Delight, <laughs> which sounds like an alcoholic drink. Get on that. <laughs> I was going to say it sounds like a freaking dessert. Ooh, per- wait a minute. It sounds like something from Narnia. <laughs> Betray Aslan, and I'll give you purple delight. <laughs> oh, God, no. But from what I understand here, right, um, some of the Chinese words here are directly translated without context. Seppi, you do know Chinese, right? So what do you read here? Now, I will uh, say this. I can't read that well. I mean, I knew some Chinese, but I cannot read that. Uh, but there is a translation to the site, like Twilight Sparkle is Shi Yu Shi Ye something like that. Space Princess. Space Princess. <laughs> oh, we're well, we're getting ahead of ourselves now. Let me run down the list of at least what's posted online. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Twilight Sparkle is Z Yu Rarity Zhen Chi. Oh, so Rarity's a video game company. Z Yu Rare. Zhen Chi. Yunbao, Roro, uh, Pingo Jr. Let's see, Peachy. <laughs> Pinkie Pie is literally Peachy. She's feeling Peachy keen. <laughs> oh, better get Bowser out of the way then. Yujo uh, Gongju, Yulian Gongju, Yinyin Gongju, Hanjing Nuang, uh, it's kind of hard to pronounce their names without, like, the, the little accent characters because my teacher taught me a very good way to pronounce them. Uh, so I apologize for any of our Chinese viewers if I am pronouncing these names completely wrong. Jingguan Shosho and uh, Lori, no, Laori Jiaguan. Sounds good That's enough. That's all I... Yeah, so, that's, that's how you say their name, so at least to the best of my ability without the pinion character accents. 
And going through the list one more time, just for the uh, English translation, roughly speaking, like I say, Twilight Sparkle, Purple Delight. Rarity is rare. I still don't see that sequel to Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> Rainbow Dash is Cloud Treasure. Fluttershy is Softly. What Roar, Roar. Applejack is Apple Fine Child. <laughs> I feel like you should snap your fingers at the end of that. Apple Fine Child. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pink- Pinkie Pie is Peach, but she can't appear in this vi- podcast because she's been kidnapped again. <laughs> oh, boy. Better get a plumber. <laughs> Princess Celestia is known as Space Princess. Princess. Oh, wow. Princess of the whole space. Wow. Princess. Wait, so she's taking Rosalina's job now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Maybe that's why she gets along with Pinkie so well. <laughs> Princess Luna is the Moon Princess. Which basically just means she flashes everyone or, or took us. <laughs> princess Cadence is the phonology princess. <laughs> okay, What's that's a phonology? big word. What, what the heck is phonology? Well, actually, I had to Google that when I first heard it. Phonology is the study of how sounds are organized and used in natural languages. However, <laughs> some other folks on Equestria Daily noted that sometimes you don't you group the uh, the characters together, and sometimes you don't. If you read each character in the Chinese individually, they stand for song and rhyme. So it may be that Princess Cadence is song rhyme princess. Mm, so she'd be rapping, yo. Mm, for no. shizzle, my grizzle. Anyways. Oh, and straight up, dog. You're going to be hating on me already? She isn't it. Queen Chrysalis is magic shape queen. <laughs> Starlight t- glimmer is twinkly. And sunset shimmer is sunset glow. So they were close. Yeah, they were close. No, but I love like that starlight glimmer, twinkly. <laughs> yes, it, like it, just makes, a... it just makes her evil reign of terror all the more hilarious. <laughs> Look out for the dark lord, twinkly. They think why me, twinkly. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, it's kind of funny. It's like, yeah, she is just a mini twilight. She's just twinkly. <laughs> oh boy. And you see, you see Starlight just sort of like her eye twitching as everyone calls her that. <laughs> oh, it's that, that makes it for when Ember shows up even harder. Um, oh, I'm yeah. More of a twinkly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But hey, uh, at least China is getting stuff done. So that's cool. By the way, I have to point something out. The Sephisto pick and really awesome art. Well, yes, the on the cover, it's, it's Princess Celestia in a chung Mm hmm. With a nice little flower on top. Yeah, yeah. If you take a look, see at the bottom right, right, like, I don't know, like, like I just saw right. something. Uh, like, take a look, see, enlarge the image if you want to. Wow, wow. You know, dude, I thought you were you were selling the props, but now I can see you've got a narcissism streak. <laughs> it's my three hundred. Good for episode. you. It's my three hundred episode. Let me be. I can't. I can. <laughs> I can't unsee this now. <laughs> Oh, that's a mystery really to pick a good one. Yes. You sick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, now come on, friends. What's so wrong with wanting to promote your own art and skills? Hey, 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 oh, hey. nothing wrong with that. But when you say, "Oh, yeah, they made the best choice, or they chose the greatest artwork," <laughs> they have chosen the greatest artwork known to mankind. <laughs> A uh, fun fact about this picture: we love fine posted a while back ago. <laughs> I'd rather have this as the official post start work. Oh, that one, Shepard. Oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know how you say. Now, it now, 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 Sapphire. This is a little too etche for uh, EQD. I don't maybe. care. It's cute. Yeah. Or, or very. Hang on. Uh, Hon- honestly, Celestia and Luna are just going to have terrible back pain later in life. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're only no. I, I don't think it's a back pain. This, I think it's the this fact picture that, you know, will also work. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, that one works. Oh, but it's not the year of the goat anymore. <laughs> yeah, it passed. But hey. and the goats are like, bah, loney. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let me look up the Chinese New Year for this year. Doggo. Oh, it, we, the dog. Oh, the I doggo. know that. I meant the date of it. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, it's supposed well, to be around early February. Yes, February 16th, mm. so not early, uh, mid. Mm. What you were saying, yeah. Silva? Close enough. Well, in truth, that's pretty much the news. We're still in the hiatus. The 
that dark period where we must look to ourselves for pony content. We must stay strong against the entropy of waiting for the new show to start. Unless you watch the spoiled stuff, and then, you know, well, then we're all just really snippy about it. <laughs> yeah. We don't nope. talk about spoilers. Nope. Only saw two things, and was like, okay, that's enough to be excited for the show. Yeah. I had to watch it because everyone posts on my, my TV and art and YouTube. Hey, did you know about this, 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 and this? I do now. Thanks. Sorry, Silver. It's the price you pay for being known. <sighs> uh, well, such first world problems. <laughs> first world problems all the time. First world problems. But anyway, really now, we're at the 300th episode. And Burning Minds want to know, Norman, mm. what the hey, dude? Like what, what, what? We want to know, well, here's the question. To hang in there for 300 episodes, one must know, why did you get into this in the first place? Why? Hmm. Well. Yes, why? Uh, I wanted to. It's one of those things where I always wanted to do a podcast, but never had the know-how of friends. Suddenly, one day, he joined the fandom, noticed a lot of creative-minded people, and I just jumped in, never looked back. It's one of those things, man. Like, once you go podcasting, you can never turn back. Oh, once you go cast, you can never have another blast. I know. Oh, my. It's fun, man. It's fun. Well, but then that begs many questions about this long, long career. Case in point, who's been your favorite interview? Oh, wow. Uh, me! You're, you're putting me on the spot, man. <laughs> yes, that's what happens when you invade someone else's show and take over duties. <laughs> duties. <laughs> you said duties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but in all honesty... For, for some time, Silver, I don't know whether you're the most mature person or the most immature person in the room. It fluctuates like a roller coaster. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> I thought the answer was 42. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Silver. Yes. Hong Bao Bao. Hong Bao Bao. Give me money. Oh, Hong Bao. Well, you said that. <laughs> uh, but anywho, uh, to answer your question, Silver, what was it again? Looking back over the multitudinous interviews you've conducted, are there any that stand out uh, in your mind as maybe a favorite? In all honesty, not to uh, pull on your quote tales or something like that. I think you. Oh. Oh, he flatters me. <laughs> yeah, but there's a reason for that too. You were up and coming, and I like your work. Uh, I think I saw the Power Ponies review, and when I saw it, like, hey, this guy likes Power Rangers. That's so cool. Let's see what. He, uh, let's see how he goes and thinks and so on. I, I like this guy. Let me invite him on the show. And you said yes. And from that point on, you have been locked away in my dungeon. He only feeds me pizzas <laughs> under the door. And yet here I am invading his personal space. <laughs> uh, like, in all honesty, 300 episodes of this, like, there's a lot of people I've talked to, a lot of people I've met, and all of them are awesome. Like, to have a favorite is kind of hard. There is the obvious Michel Kreber because I saw him in person, or the 100 special, which is Amy Keating Rogers. Or oh, even Larson. I had him on the show once. and Larson! <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, go by his book, Penny Royal Academy. Available on Amazon. And, well, there's a lot. I wish I could do it again. Like, Just call those people on and let's do this. Norman, I'd, I've never known people who can get in the plug for someone else. <laughs> go buy his book and I'll have karmic rewards. Yes. <laughs> It's one of those things, man. Larson did a great book, uh, Penny Royal Academy. It was a really fun read, too. Well, then, if we if you've had favorite guests, or what about favorite reviews? Have there ever been a, a talk about an episode or a topic of the fandom that you still look back and giggle? You know, there's two in my mind, and they're fresh. They're really fresh. Uh, I, let's just say three. Uh, I'll list them down in no particular order. One with us reviewing The Finship is Magic comic that one was a hoot to do but never again oh, never again we for those who don't know we sat down and recorded all five reviews in one day i believe it went for several hours five to six if i remember oh, right boy, that does not sound fun oh it was it was 
That sounds tiring to me. My goodness, I would not handle that. Uh, it was one of those things where we had endurance, we wanted, we were young and dumb, and in the end, never again. <laughs> Speak for yourself, yes. I'm I'm old and dumb, thank you very much. <laughs> old and dumb! Oh, no. <laughs> See, uh, even he admits it. <laughs> Only to satisfy you, you whippersnapper. Yes. But I think uh, put doing that many recordings in a row actually shows you guys have an amazing drive and passion for your own projects. True, true. It was fun. And- and caffeine. We had lots and lots of caffeine. Yeah. I want caffeine. Buy me a coffee. Sure, I'll buy you a coffee and mail it to you. <laughs> oh, boy. Or you could send me the money there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But um, another review I do highly enjoy was Kung Pao Into the Fist. Wee, 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 wee. That was fun. It cracked me up. Uh. <laughs> and last one is... The ladybug review. <laughs> what? Oh God! That was fun. That was the most fun ever. Just hearing it again and just hearing you break it down was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> My sanity, please. <laughs> oh, it has destroyed. Me. Oh, and here's the best part: My Amazon feed, for reasons I do not understand, uh-huh. listed. Hey, the DVD of the first season has come out. <laughs> it's like. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? How did how did it know? It's Amazon. I'm pretty sure they've got a satellite tracking me. <laughs> this seemed to be a very important part of your life that affected you greatly. Why don't you watch it again? Um, Amazon. I think you want positive things, not not psychological trauma. Oh boy. But we have several self help books that can get you through that trauma. <laughs> Would you like to get the Kindle? <laughs> and now it can be delivered by drone. <laughs> machine gun. <laughs> well, those those two were fun memories for me. And truthfully, I only have one last question for you, Norman. Mm-hmm. Which of us do you like the most? Oh, that's a loaded question. Me? Is it me? Is it Sapphire? Is it Will Eisen? I'm adorable. I like you all equally. That's what every parent says, but they likely have a favorite. It's the old man, isn't it? I'm not good enough to be on the show. <sighs> Come on, let's just pull a Cersei Lannister. I know we're not supposed to have favorites, but we're only human. <laughs> well, I know it's not me. I mean, the only thing I've got going for me is a very smart mouth. <laughs> oh, I said you all. I'm like your ass. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh my. But... And now we can ship Sapphire with Will Eisen. No! I'm pretty sure if you were to do that, Manga would take Manga Kama would take it seriously and try and kick my butt. <laughs> oh no! You know, you guys think that Manga Kama would take it that seriously? Manga sees these shenanigans and rolls his eyes because he knows that I will always run to him. <laughs> yes, but we'll also be chasing after. <laughs> also, Will Eisen, I gotta say, the threat of oh, this guy will will engage in violence. It just makes me want to ship more because I want. Popcorn and watch that. Honestly, okay. Manga would only get into a violent rampage if only, um, you know, like any of you decide that, oh, I'm going to hurt Safi because I can. <laughs> no, or touch me in weird places. That's when he would get all, I will crush your hand and make you pay for it. Well, no, no, never. Sapphire, I would never physically harm you. Exactly. So Emotionally you have scarring. To worry about. <laughs> Emotional scarring is totally on the table, but you know, physical violence, no, no, no. <laughs> <clears throat> oh wow. And besides emotional, there's also psychological. <laughs> well, that's if we get her to watch more of Miraculous. Oh yeah. It's in the future, by the way. No, no, I have my own show that it could drive her insane. Tell me, Sapphire. Um... Have you ever sat down and watched Sonic Underground? Oh, God. Actually, I finished the whole series. Oh, God. Well, dang, there goes that plan. <laughs> they may the place their mother will be found. Yeah. If anything, it's more maddening that they don't have a friggin' conclusion to their stupid story. I sat through that for nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, what Norman said. 
But still, were you trying to say something? Well, I wanted to see if first did Will have any questions for you, and then Sefi. Yeah, I got Why a am I not the favorite? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I said I like everyone equally. Oh, I know what's really going on in your head. <laughs> but Will, what are you trying to say? Oh no. Um, I actually I got a very nice question that I've uh, done a lot of people. Uh, here's one for you, Norman. Mm-hmm. Over the course of all these recordings, you've obviously had bloopers, <laughs> mistakes, um, weird technical glitches. <laughs> Which of these mm, mm, outtakes would you say was some of the most memorable for you? Boy, there's a lot. There is a lot. But I think I have to say one of the best kerfuffles I ever did was the 2017 New Year's recording. And I think that one was on Christmas Day the recording. The scenario was this. Uh, no one was around because I gave everyone a break. And I recorded the show. Silver was on. And I asked, Hey, Silver, you free to do a recording or something like that? And this was me after finish recording and finish editing. And Silver said, Yeah, I'm on. And we had to do the whole show all over again. Or oh, personally, I had to do the show all over again. And yeah. That- oh, so it's my fault. So I'm the jerk. Nee. <laughs> You poor thing, Silver. You've been tortured by this man since the beginning. <laughs> no, man. Like, it's one of those scenarios. He had been working on Christmas Day. Oh. <laughs> it, Norman, it, shame on you. I didn't mean it that way. Boy, but still. Yeah, you did. No. And I wished him Merry Christmas. He said, ah, humbug. <laughs> now I have to remember. Was it on Christmas Day? That, that's the real question. Was it? Man. I, I think he was joking. No, no, no. I mean, like, seriously, uh, the deleted episode was on Patreon. It was the first Patreon exclusive. So now I need to remember, is it on Christmas Day or New Year's Eve? Probably New Year's Eve, if, I, if I'm if i guessing right. I think so, too. But, yeah, let's see if... Uh... But I'll milk this for all it's worth. He had me working on Christmas Day! Oh, no. Norman, why? But that's why I'm his favorite, because I actually did it. <laughs> I wasn't around during the time. <clears throat> oh, wow. I was passed out in an alleyway. Ah, the true way to celebrate the new year. Oh, wow. Well. Um, no, uh, wasn't an alleyway. It was just a couch. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I mentioned before, I said episode is on the Patreon exclusive. Uh, the deleted last episode of 2016. Yep. <laughs> Every one of you should buy Safi a cup of coffee. Safi, you can start begging when it actually does become Chinese New Year. <laughs> but I want coffee! No, so no, Safi. What you want is money. <laughs> and coffee! Oh, man. Safi, aside from asking for coffee, have you any questions for Norman? I already asked if why am I not the favorite? I already answered. Like <laughs> I like you all equally. Sure you do. Okay, let me let me give me some time to actually think of a real question. I'm sorry, Norman. It's okay, but here's the thing. Um, with this episode being a bit, well, um, I won't say slow, but uh, lacking in content. Um, I'm gonna try and throw this one out there. Um, a Patreon request, and it's from Ninja Gatorius. He's been asking about how the show works behind the scenes. So It doesn't. Yeah, I know. It never does. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to expand it to how do you guys, like everyone here, handles your own work. So since Nem is asking me first, I'm just going to tell him. Uh, the behind the scene works is we all gather around, we chit chat before recording, and we record once we're ready. But I think... He is asking also for um, <laughs> equipment, for recording, funny stories about the guests, and so on. So, for equipment, uh, I think I told this story before. And Sid's story was was recording uh, the people for Everfree Northwest. And suddenly my laptop, which was an app MacBook Pro, uh, shut it out. It got the white screen. And I couldn't do anything. 
So I had to go out and buy myself a preamp and microphone set. And that was the PreSonus brand thing, audio box USB thing. And from that point on, I've been recording with this setup for a while now. Bought a, what you would call this, microphone stand with a pop filter and everything. And yeah, I'm really happy with what I got. In terms of software, um, Audacity is a gem, it's free. And also the Studio One recording device, which is also free and paid. Uh, I'm not 100% sure with that one. You could register it and you get more features unlocked. But what I'm doing and what I'm using it for, the free feature is good enough. Silver, how do you do your work? Well, let's see here. For, for the MBS show, well, my alarm goes off very early in the morning. And so I hit the snooze button like three times. Then I drag myself out of bed and turn on a cup of uh, green tea. I thought you said chai tea. I'm trying to drink healthy. Er. For now. And then I sit down and find that Norman, because he's like in tomorrow in the land of the future, he's been online for like three hours. Hi, Silver, how are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> eh, I, I'm not a morning person. <laughs> it never occurred to me that way. <laughs> And then we begin the recording, and I come to life as I as I start driving Safi into an early conniption. <laughs> and I, I, I tell you the truth, ladies and gents, mostly this is just improv. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of this stuff lined up. Uh, in terms of equipment, however, I have the Sennheiser E838 live performance microphone with a little mic stand and a Tascam US100 audio uh, USB interface which converts this condenser microphone into a digital signal that goes into my computer. I've had this for years, long before my little pony hit the scene. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, my friends my friends were going away on a trip, and so I recorded a, sort of a mini audio drama whenever they were away and sent, them, sent it to them, which usually featured their home being destroyed in various uh, formats. And so that was, that was technically, I guess, where Silver Quill really got his start, though I didn't know it at the time. How did Silver Quill exist? Well, you see, when a stallion and a, ma and a griffin, or a griffin and a pony, love each other very much, I notice you're not stopping me from going further. I know. You know, the worst part is some people have speculated that Manga and I, that you're actually our child from the future. Oh, God, no. You're not Cable, No. No, what yeah. is this? Fire Emblem Awakenings. Oh, God. I'm, no. I'm People gonna, have made that accusation, though. I will not lie. I will put a pin in that. <laughs> as, as in putting a pin in a balloon to pop it. Good. I mean, oh, heaven. Man, I, was, I was hoping we were going to have the time travel episode happen, and then we could play uh, Push It to the Limit from, uh, you know, Scarface. Oh, wow. Well. So we're going to have the Simpsons re creation as well okay but if you want to know where silver coal got his start it was just before the start of season four or rather well really at the tail end of season three after the finale when everyone was furious mm -hmm. over princess twilight sparkle and i was in art school getting an associate's degree and i'd been watching uh reviewers mostly um oh Shoot, why am I having a brain fart? Uh, it's part of the old crew. <laughs> now you know not, how I feel. Not Digibro. Uh, Paleo Steno. Oh. There we are. Paleo Steno. I'd most, I've been watching him, and I was becoming more and more aware of other online reviewers. And I thought to myself, you know, I have opinions, and no one's really talking about this in a way that I feel is healthy. I mean, people are saying, it's awful, it's wonderful, you're an idiot for not liking it, you're an idiot for liking it. We just lay it all out. So, I, for my class, I sketched out a hippogriff. And I continued to uh, sketch and develop it until I had Silver Quill in sketch form. When then I went to making him in the video. And as I'd worked in video production in a previous career, I still had the editing equipment. Ergo, I created the first after the fact, and it snowballed from there. Wow. That's cool. I mean, your story is better than mine. <laughs> oh, come now. It's merely 
in some ways, it's just a convergence of past experience towards a new goal, which uh, since I'm a little bit ahead on the time scale with you, than some of you youngins, that's just what I did. And I'm confident you will all have similar, but not identical experiences where you take things that you knew over life and you apply them to new experiences and create something grand. Yes. Assuming crippling depression doesn't kill us first. Ah, true that too. But Seppi, what about you? How how do you work? Like, what's behind the scenes for you? Well, first off, I have a Huyan. Uh, let me let me find my drawing tablet. Uh, when I first sort of got started, like on uh, reviewing, I had basically nothing. I had a like Christmas gift Rosetta Stone microphone headset which did not work in my favor, like, when I first started reviewing. I did not have a tablet, so I used MS Paint, and my skills in Cyberlink Power Director. And yes, it was a paid version, but still, I struggled. I basically was the definition of started from the bottom, now we're here. Shush. Shush you. (laughs) Anyways. (laughs) So, I don't know, wait... I I started out at my senior year in high school. I was only like 16 going on 17 at the time, and I had nothing. I mean, I still don't have an iPhone to this day. (laughs) That's how poor I am. First world problems. You're not not missing out on anything. I mean, do you really want to have a phone that you can only unlock by having it be able to scan your facial features and send it up to some cloud for some government surveillance organization to keep track of your biometric data? No. (laughs) See, then you're not missing out on anything. Just jailbreak a just jailbreak a Samsung phone. And watch it explode in your hands. I I had to work with what I had, and I would slowly evolve over time to what I have now, which is a snowball, and um, I'm trying to think what else I own. I I currently, because this was a Christmas gift, my current laptop is a HP Pavlon notebook. It works very well for me, so that's good. Um... Like, when you say working, do you mean on art or reviews or... Well, um, your channel will be exact because uh, Nem is asking, for example, how do you decide what will you be in the show next, what equipment do you do for recording, funny stories about guests and so on. Like, from your point of view, because um, from my view, in terms of... I'll answer this later on, but Seppi, it's your moment. Sorry for stealing it. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so... First off, I use PowerDirector 13 um, for my videos currently. That is the uh, format that I've always used because that was what I was taught with with high school. Mm. Like, I was in a video editing class and they had a paid subscription for PowerDirector 10 at the time. And I had used that, then I used uh, 11 for myself for the longest time, then I upgraded to 13. For the uh, Huon, for the tablet that I use, I use a Huon uh, H610 Pro. I you you can look it up. You'll you'll be able to find it. Although I'm currently looking into uh, saving up for a Huon Canvas like GT190. This looks like a what you call this? What Wacom? Or one of the Wacoms. Point is, I'm on a budget. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. It's like, I, I don't really focus on my channel anymore. I mean, I've been burned out for the longest time when it comes to uh, reviewing. Mm-hmm. I do have fun, though, when I do review. I just sit there and I do what I can and stuff. But now I art, and now I'm trying to upgrade into the latest technology for it. I understand that feeling. We can improve her. We have. Now I just need $500, and then I can get my Huon campus. Yay. You're spending it all on coffee. (laughs) Indeed. (laughs) Uh... No, you need to buy me a coffee, so I don't actually buy a coffee, and I buy this. (laughs) Uh... 
but well, well actually Chris, actually sapphire are you phobic of needles at all <laughs> um i think i know why? where this is going i bring this up because actually if you want to make some quick cash in like a couple months and whatnot if you're in decent health you actually could try donating plasma no thank you i oh, don't I've like needles Oh, and also, for those who like art and stuff, I use uh, Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. Do not get the free version. The free version sucks. You may as well get a year-long subscription of the pro version because it's only $30 a year. Ah. That's interesting. Yeah. Why not paint to Sai? Screw that. I mean, paint to Sai, I don't have any opinion on it. I never heard of... I had never heard of Paintful Sai when I was discovering things along the lines of art programs. I only heard of Photoshop and, well, this. Huh, really? No. Autodesk is a cheaper version of Photoshop that is not pirated. Alrighty then. Well, hey, it's good to have some goals of where you want to end up, and that tablet does look pretty dang spanky. But, Wheels, what about yourself? Oh, come on, Norman. We all know. I'm the black sheep of this entire group. I've never created anything in my life. I thought you did art. Oh, I do, I do. But, all right, well, I guess the problem you could say with me, or the plus, is I'm a jack-of-all-trades. As in multiple interests in multiple directions, and that means nothing gets made very quickly. (laughs) Uh. But, as for the current setup for this lovely show... Uh, my morning routine is much like Silver's, only instead of uh, tea, I usually have a shot of whiskey. Um, <laughs> Good plan. And uh, the advantage, though, is that my computer is literally, uh, hang on, one, two, three. It is three and a half feet away from my, from my, uh, my computer is three and a half feet away from my bed. So I don't have very far to go, thankfully. My own ge- gear for this specific show is a blue, uh, is a blue snowball. Didn't have the money to shell it for a Yeti. But I have created a pop filter out of uh, a wire hanger that is bent and pantyhose. And I've created a sound booth out of a gigantic cardboard box and egg crate foam. So do it yourself, audio booth people. It works. So that's good. Right, well done. I, I tried making an audio booth for just my mic out of um, a Tupperware crate and uh, bedding or a comforter uh, but the i will say that the uh, adhesive spray really made me feel funny when i was recording <laughs> oh silver you're supposed to do that stuff outside not inside that's like saying you're going to use spray paint on an indoor environment that's a terrible idea well even the, even then weeks later i still like yeah i'm talking about twilight sparkle man and i'm flying for it Trina, go get out <laughs> And that there's... sounds like the stupidity that I had yesterday with, um, I, I was in Japanese market and I was looking around and didn't want to leave without anything. So I got a Radlin soda bottle and you know how they have the marble up top? Mm-hmm. I kept trying to push it down with my thumb and my thumb was sore all day. <laughs> Oh, come on, Sapphire. I then figured it out. Oh, hey, this cap thing that was on top of it is actually meant to be used for something. Yeah, you gotta smack it down like you do to, like you do to your nephew or something. <laughs> I don't have a nephew. Well, then My get a brother. Are oh, boy. And hey, look, there's, there's Purple Delight with her little friend <laughs> Tweety. <laughs> what? Nice, nice, we can get it back, man. Oh, wow. Reintegration. Mm-hmm. Point is, Silver, you were stupid and I'm happy. <laughs> I, I'm glad my brain damage delights you so. Yes, oh. it means you're human and you can do stupid things. Can't we all? Stupid Can't is we all? stupid does, man. Oh, wow. Oh, but... Come on, in the end, we're all human. Indeed. Anyway, to simplify, because I don't want to run up the clock too much, mm-hmm. um... I also have interests in art and video making. I have made a couple videos. I've made an audio drama. I've made uh, a music video. I've done um, slight reviews on a, another channel itself. I have created comics. Hell, I was even responsible for a uh, comic project where uh, I was the writer for a uh, Artist at the Ready original character tournament. 
And uh, my partner in crime, a uh, good friend of mine, my, Mike, we were able to chalk out, oh, in the end, around 600 comic pages in the realm of a year. Wow. Yeah, Mike kind of is insane when he gets into drawing. Thankfully, I mean, we had the writing to back up the drawing, but it's like, uh, yeah, so we were a good duo in that. And uh, right now, current project is finishing a video, actually. Ooh. So I've already got the art vectors. I've already been working on trying to find good royalty-free background music. And I've got the script written. All that remains is editing the fun part, Yay. which I do find fun. Editing is always the bean of our work. We have to sit down and oh, listen to ourselves so talk. Fun. Finding that, finding that minute little section that works the best. Finding the timing between these frames. Knowing how long to hold on a shot because holding on a shot a second longer could change the entire tone of what you're doing, or it could make a scene feel too drawn out. Like, okay, move on to the next point. Creating the natural flow, as you would, of the entire show. And editing is not easy, but it's fun. There are times it's fun. And looking at the question here, uh, how do you decide what will be in the next episode or next show? Easy. We just follow the trend of episode review, comic book review, episode review, comic book review. Sometimes it will be episode review, Patreon requests, episode review, Patreon requests. Oh, I thought we just, you know, hook up Silverquill here to one of those gigantic wheels, spin around and throw daggers. Wheel of something. Turn, turn, turn. Yes, it's when they hit my spleen that we t- we decided to talk about uh, Miraculous. <laughs> it's one of the only few joys in our lives. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, hello, sorry. Um, here's the thing. Valentine's coming soon, and it's been brought to my attention that there's a Halloween special for Ladybug, and I seen a bit of it, and I can't wait to show it to you guys and review it. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're trying to scare people on Valentine's Day? Norman, I think you're getting your holidays confused, buddy. I, yes, I, I, I'll, I'll be having fun. Uh, I know, I will be having fun. So I'm going to be alone on Valentine's Day with these people. <laughs> these people, you say? Hmm. Huh. Oh, don't worry, Safi. I have enough self-love to go around. <laughs> Oh, I don't want any of that. Gross. I draw but, silver to protect me, but I know he's no help. <laughs> that's right. It's Valentine's Day, and I'd love to see you go crazy. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, wow. Yay. Yeez. We're smart as manga's not even going to be here. Save me. <laughs> uh, you do have his contact number, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm sure you two are a couple because you have so much in common. Love <laughs> 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 you. Uh, well, but anywho, I I think that goes for the Patreon request. Sorry, we couldn't elaborate more on what we do in the background, Nem, because it's kind of boring. Like we just sit here, we discuss on what we should do. And what you hear on the show is what you get. Like, we don't rehearse any of this. The show's not scripted at all. Yes, welcome to the MBS show, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Yay! Except for when I drive Safi nuts. That that matters to me a great deal. <laughs> Yay! Free? Yep, the points are kind of like uh, Applejack. <laughs> oh, oh, so sad. You're so mean. Why are you so mean? Oh, man. <laughs> One of my favorite moments, I just remembered, is... Uh, the Christmas holiday special that we recently did. Silver, you sang the the tune of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer to what now? Oh, to Rockhoof when we yeah. were talking about uh, Campfire Tales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I managed to improvise that and I was rather startled myself. That was good. Like, I had to s- sit a moment and say, You've been holding that for a while, haven't you? <laughs> and I said, No, I just came to me on the spot. And that was good. Like I hope you I hope you carry that to your own review, man. Oh, we'll see what we can cook up. Yeah, it was good, it was good. Uh, but if Silver, if you don't mind, let me take over the show again, because it's my show. It's your show. Well, we I think we've thoroughly embarrassed you enough for now. Oh gosh. Oh, no, dear. we haven't embarrassed him enough. We need to make him like family. What? And embarrass him to death. 
Oh, oh okay. It was like, like family guy, or do we, do we have to? Do like <laughs> no, guy? no, like no. Like every, family matters. Every family, every family, no matter who you are, is made up to embarrass you for life. <laughs> oh gosh. No, 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 no. I, I was thinking more like like family matters. That that would make Silver Quill uh, Urkel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Did I do that? <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm not Laura. <laughs> cool. Oh wow. Uh, Jelly White. Would that make, would that make common Stefan? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no. Plot twist: Manga Common is secretly the younger, cooler version of Silver Quill. <laughs> oh, if I'm not mistaken, manga came in late, right? In the review show world, a little bit. Yeah. Huh, that's cool. Silver, I think you gave a lot of inspiration to the newer batch of reviewers. Oh, what a horrible fate. <laughs> they deserve better. <laughs> oh, man. We, we could go on for days, but yeah. Um, I guess You have, didn't you? Like, most of a day? Seven hours? True. Yeah, true. That, that was our Fiendship is Magic review. <laughs> oh, oh, time loss. But anywho... Let's move on to the next topic. And said topic is what have we been doing with our week? And you know what? Since everybody else is around, Silver, what have you been doing with your week? Mostly the day job. I managed to complete uh, my review of uh, the one where Pinkie Pie knows. Oh. And then I faced the wrath of Cadence fans. Oh. Who were like, oh, you're such a terrible person for not liking her. Really? There's an onslaught for that? They're, it's a small onslaught. It's more of a on sachet, but you know. I can't believe or people actually take that show seriously. I mean, come on. You're just being facetious. It's for entertainment purposes. Well, that it, it, it is genuine that she's my least favorite character in the show. Yeah, for reasons. For reasons. Well, I, I feel like I, I keep looking for something to really celebrate or something that really speaks to me and... Cadence is there. She's nice and kind and pretty, but in terms of being engaged, I'm I'm just not there. However, I do want to quote uh, what someone posted on my DeviantArt when I asked them, could you tell me what aspects make her your favorite princess? And this person said, she captures the memories of when I was very young, looking at my favorite person in the world at the time. The first time I saw her reminded me of the times with my old babysitter and the joy of just being with her. I was heavily bullied as a kid, and she was my favorite, most perfect person ever at that time. Cadence to me is a symbol of hope and love, a time where we can't see any fault in a person. She is a perfect role model. Wow. Uh, well, I wouldn't say perfect, but hey. Here's the thing. She's not my favorite character, but I won't argue against when a character speaks to something very personal to you. I'm. It, she just doesn't speak to me in the same way. Mm -hmm. And that comment was deep, man. Like, that was good. Yes, that's been probably the best statement of why someone enjoys Cadence that I've read. And, you know, what's funny, people say, er, but that's not objectively correct. So, uh -huh. it's not less relevant. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's your reviews, and you did ask for their opinion, and they give you that. And, yeah, I have to say that was a good one. Like, there's nothing but People I... being respectful online? That's impossible. <laughs> uh, but still. And I did saw your review, Silver. That was good. That was really good. I'm just wondering how you got a new outfit at the end made so quickly. <laughs> uh, rarity is, is a delight in a pinch, regardless. <laughs> I mean, you just say to her, so I need to look like a pinky pie. That's not a word! <laughs> oh, no! I think you probably could have worded that better. Maybe a... Uh... Pinkie Pie. Pure? Uh, Stormtrooper. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, wait. She probably um, would have Star Wars. Um, well, well uh, then she'd have me in, like, pink body armor, and I couldn't hit anything worth a bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But anywho. Well, not like that, not like you can anyway right now. <laughs> oh, ho. Oh, boys. But anywho. Seppi, what about you? What have you been doing for your week? Trying to get people to buy me coffee. Really? That's all? Yes. I want my coffee. Oh, join the club then, because nobody's been giving me anything in the coffees. No coffee for you. If you buy me two, I'll draw you art. 
<laughs> I'd buy you a coffee, Safi, but I'm afraid I'm completely and utterly broke. Oh, no. But, Wills, what about you? What have you been doing with your week? Oh, good golly gosh, what haven't I been doing? I'm, I've am i started at a new job and everything is going swimmingly. I have a consistent time schedule to work around. I've been working on my side projects. I've been playing tons of video games. Um, and just yesterday, Monster Hunter World released. And it is awesome! Someone's happy. Well, I guess I could be happier, but in order for that to happen, I'd probably need someone to burst through my door who is a near and dear idol to me. But the chances of that happening are extremely rare. The Kool-Aid man? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. If he burst through the door, I'd probably just more so freak out and accidentally break him. And I'd have a bunch of crying children wondering, why did you kill the Kool-Aid man? It's not my fault, kid. He just scared me. <laughs> why can't I see that as a family guy sketch? <sighs> oh, no. But, um... So I had to say the big thing. It's mostly just working on this video, which is talking about magic. Yay, magic. And magic systems. And the, uh, have any of you played the Monster Hunter series by chance? I played the demo. I tried it for a little bit, but never could get the hang of it. Zappy? Huh? What game? <laughs> Monster Hunter. Any of them. Never heard of it, never played it, probably don't have the console for it. Well, actually, Monster Hunter World that was just released is for PS4, Xbox, and will be released for the PC sometime in the fall. Hopefully. Yeah. I have none of those part. things except for the PC, and I don't care about PC gaming. What kind of plebeian are you? <laughs> One who plays on the Nintendo 3DS, because that's all she can afford. Well, Monhan is on I can the... Swear there's actually a 3DS yeah. version of Monster Hunter. Yeah, yeah, there is a 3DS version of Monster Hunter. Oh, then I just don't care. <laughs> wow. yeah, right to the point. Wrong with this okay. one. <laughs> Man, I could sing this game's praises, but I will say, if you like action games, if you like the feeling of a very well-designed world, and if you love very cute kitty cats, then this is the game for you. Because I'll you can dress up this little cute kitty cat in armor. You. What, what? I said I'll play Ocarina of Time 3D, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, but Safi, you can dress up cute little kitty cats in armor. What's not to love? I want to throw around chickens <laughs> into the water so they commit suicide. <laughs> what the? No. Has hey, someone been playing a bit too much Fable? So, Mon Have you seen the chickens in Zelda? They're oh. vicious, man. Ah, uh, cuckoos. I remember that someone in uh, the Switch, in, in the Switch version of Breath of the Wild, decided, "Hey, let's find out what happens when you throw a cuckoo into uh, into the lava at the top of uh, Mount Doom or whatever the heck the mountain's called, Death Mountain." And so it literally took them like forty five minutes to get one over there because no cuckoos cuckoos spawn anywhere near the mountain. So they had to grab one and then run with it <laughs> past monsters, past fields, through all this thing, all the way over it. And climb up this mountain, and finally they were able to throw it in. And what happens when you throw a cuckoo in lava? You feel like a terrible person? No, the same thing that happens to everything else. It just burns up and dies. <laughs> so there was no point. No, there was a point. You see, they respected the scientific method. They had a question. <laughs> they had a hypothesis. And they put it into testing. And by and God, they, they put it into testing. And they had fly over to give them hell. <laughs> nope. The thing is, by dousing it in lava, the bird never even had a single chance to cry for help. <laughs> That's grim. Oi, oi, oi. How is it my saying Pinkie Pie? That's not a word. Is actually the least... Terrible thing we've heard so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sudi was going OT on this one. Mm. Uh, this is oh, yeah, that's that's what that's what my week has been going. Mm. This is why we bring in Will Eisen. <laughs> Yay. For that kind of commentary. What you bring me in because like, We need somebody more sadistic than Silver. <laughs> I am not sadistic. I'm oh, not sadistic. sweet. Sadistic. Somebody touching my spaghetti. <laughs> uh, Wait, does that make know. does that make you, Safi? Does that make you surprise? <laughs> Is there something we should um, know about you? I don't know. I don't know what character I'm on in Blend S. Oh uh, no, no, no. I'm I'm gonna put the tracks on the real. Yeah. 
Yeah. Train Better train. hurry, Norman. We're running out of track. Hurry, hurry before you become a weeb, too. Oh, boys. But yeah, man, we're running out of track. We're like grommet. <laughs> but anywho, uh, with me and my week, um, it's pretty simple. I played Mega Man 1 to 7, and now I'm working on 8. And oh my god, it is terrible. Oh gosh, Mega Man 8. Well, what what uh, is this on a collection on an emulator? It's a collection. It's the Mega Man Legacy Collection on Steam. Uh, Mega ah. Man. The Legacy Collection 2 has 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the art for 8 and the gameplay idea for that one is not that great. And also, the voice acting is. Oh goodness. Oh. Gotta watch stop, Dr. Wiley. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Wait, Doctor Wiley, isn't that right, Wiley? Come on, Silver Quail. We have to go stop off at Wiley. Do you know do we? Wee wee wah wah. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I finished playing Sonic Forces. Kind of had fun, a lot of fun actually. So yeah, basically that's been my week besides work and all that stuff. And other than that, yeah, uh, I promised this guy that we won't be doing the show for long, and we hit an hour. So. Yeah, I think it's time to wrap. I think it's time to wrap it up. So anyway, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themvshowgmail.com. You can also reach the show via Twitter, and the show's Twitter account is at themvshow. For me, I'm at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? Oh, just turn around. No, uh, you can find me on Twitter at MLP Silver Quill, all one word. Uh, I am on YouTube. Just do a search for Silver Quill or After the Fact. Or on the Deviant Arts under MLP and hyphen silver hyphen quill dot deviantart dot com. Cool, cool. I try to be consistent with my branding. Yeah, it's all about the branding. And Seppi, what about you? You can find me at any form of media at Anime Christie. That's A N I M E C H R Y at the C H R I S T Y. Also, go donate to my coffee, which I've been frequently messaging because Safi needs her caffeine. No, I think we just need to give her some decaf to calm her down at this point. That's ko-fi.com slash anime Christy. I need my coffee, man. Yeah, you go support her if you can. And Will, so you can do good. Buying your coffee is only three bucks. It'll help go towards my BronyCon 2018 budget. Hear that, folks? It's all up to you. If you want to see Safi at BronyCon, donate her and give her a coffee. Oh, you'll see me at BronyCon either way. I just want to vend. <laughs> oh. I'm vending with the old man if our application goes through. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. After the last time I saw you guys vending, it looked like you were plotting to take over the world. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I wish I could join you guys. So we. Yeah. But then who wills? What about you? Well, folks, if you want to find anything that I do, anything that I say, or anything that I can see, but well, wait, that that still do. Okay. Anyway, you can find me on both Twitter, DeviantArt, and YouTube under W I L I Z I N. That's Willisin. I'm everywhere. If you see me on Overwatch. If you see Willis in an Overwatch, that's me. If you see Willis in on Call of Duty, that's me. If you see Willis in on World of Tanks, that's not me because that game sucks. <laughs> uh, no comment. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to our newest endeavor, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast, where you get me. Silver Quill, Seppi, and probably Guest of the Week, which is probably Wills, uh, reviewing the pony, com- uh, pony episodes, comics, and movies, and also other things like Kung Pao Into the Fist. And I think we want to try and do UHF, isn't that right, Silver? Oh, yes, that would be grand. Yeah. The Weird Al movie? Yeah. Ye- none other. Oh. Oh. Oh man, that movie's quotable. That movie's quotable. <sighs> Anything with word now. You're speaking my language here, folks. We'll work on it somehow. If you would like, uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Nemjagatorius, Starstream, Master of Lag. Amy, 
Mark and also Charles. Thank you so much guys for the awesome support. You have been really great. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. I am the Safi. And I am the Will Eisen. We'll guys catch you next week with another fun show. See ya. Adios. Bye bye. Toodles, folks. Actually, since it was an anniversary, that means we have to sing you a song, Norman. Merry anniversary, <laughs> must to you. Merry anniversary, anniversary must to, to you. you. Merry anniversary, anniversary must to Norman. You, Norman. Merry anniversary, must to you. Ooh, and many more. Seriously. Let's get to episode 600, maybe a thousand. Oh gosh. Ah, so, yeah. Catch you guys next week. Bye.